2011 Food Safety Summit in Washington, D.C. One of the highlights of the event are the NSF Food Safety Awards, which are basically honoring people who have shown great leadership or innovation in terms of food safety. I'm here with uh, the President, Greg West, of National Pasteurized Eggs, and they are the winner for Technology Breakthrough. So, Greg, first of all, how did you come to be nominated for this award? Well, I, the, the nomination came in through Grossbauer Group, which is a group that works with a lot of healthcare uh, folks from DMA and other uh, healthcare industry people. They nominated us for a lot of our training and educational things we've done to bring the word out that we have a safe pasteurized shell egg off the marketplace. Now, you guys are involved in a lot of educational activities. Some Absolutely. We, we do training. We have multiple trainers. Myself and many of our team are trained to educate people on the category of egg safety. We talk about the food code. We talk about implementation of the food code, all the rules within the food code, all the things that go on at farms and how we can help work together with the FDA, the farms. So from farm to table, what's going on in this industry to make sure that everybody has a choice of a safe, a safe safety of eggs. So we have a pasteurized shell egg. There's regular eggs as long as you can throw early cook a regular egg, you can kill bacteria, but in handling that, and you have a lot of other things you have to do, and a lot of restaurants can't take that risk, because they're probably serving highly separate populations, like pregnant women, uh, older adults, children. They want to have the safest product coming in their back door, so what they do is they use a pasteurized shell egg, and that's what we do, is we train them where it's available, how to get it, and how it works within their restaurant or their facility. Okay, so the actual process of pasteurization, what does that do? Like it what are some of the bacteria concerns that are... The biggest bacteria concern is Salmonella enteritidis. That's the one that gets inside the egg. It's not just outside, it's inside the egg. There's other bacteria that could be on outside, but most of those are washed off in the processes on the farm. So the farm will use a, a washing process and a sanitizing to kill the bacteria on the outside of the shell. But then that doesn't kill what's inside, and our process destroys all the way through the center of the yolk, destroying all the bacteria. So you don't have any risk of using a raw egg or sunny side up egg or poached egg, those become perfectly safe as long as they've been pasteurized beforehand. So it's a it's a kill step that you wouldn't get. The salmonella problem is enteritidis, it's one of the strains, and it's it's prevalent in it's natural in, in chickens. It's not in every chicken, it's not in every barn, but it can be, and you just don't know when it is because you can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't smell it, and the egg doesn't look any different. So the only way to protect it is pasteurize it or cook them hard. It's one your your two choices. Choices. And unfortunately, cooking hard doesn't eliminate all the handling and storage and all the pieces that happen before you cook hard. Pasteurization does. Yeah, I was going to say it seems so efficient and safe. Why isn't it just the standard? For well, right now, there is in between liquid and uh, pasteurized shell eggs, it's about 32% of the eggs, I believe, produced in the United States are sold as pasteurized with liquid, dry, pre cooked patties. I think it's about 32%. And that is growing. It's a growing category because the restaurants cannot take the risk with their big brand names. I mean, when you have a great brand name and you build it up, you don't want to destroy that brand name by taking a risk. Does it mean every day they have a risk? No, but they just don't know when it is, and they don't know when they're going to have a, a potentially uh, dangerous egg that can t it is in a food product that they made that then goes to a person who is highly susceptible. So they, the two of those together is the most dangerous combination, and you could have a very, very sick individual. So just to keep the awareness and the momentum going, how can people find more information about this and the educational resources that you do well, we, they can reach us on our website. That's the first thing, www.safeeggs.com. And they, they go to our website. They can find out all the training tools we have, all the presentations we've done around the country, and contact our office, and we'll get somebody back out to them. We do it for food service uh, groups, restaurant chains, whoever may be interested. Safeeggs.com. Thank you.